Hola, Scorpio sun, Aries moons. Uh, this is your 2019 sun moon reading. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing them in the order of requests in the comments. First portion of this reading, I will read the textbook definition of your sun moon sign. So please refer to the source that I credited below. I'll then lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2019. Second portion of this reading will be the Vimeo link below to your Vimeo reading, where there will be a deeper interpretation of the cards and additional clarifiers. I'm breaking the year up into four separate quadrants. Other things to mention, I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. I'm doing weeklies on Facebook and Insta, so make sure you like, follow, and um, message me on there. Check out my playlist for your 2018 reading, see if they rang true for you, and then true for you. And then finally, also check out my compatibility readings in my playlist that I'm going to be working on throughout the year. So Sun and Scorpio, Moon and Aries, the combination of your Sun sign and your Moon sign produces a real list with little interest in generalizations or abstractions. Your focus is definite and highly personal. Ambition is strongly marked in your nature. You have little feeling for right, wrong, justice, philosophy, or other intangibles unless they touch you or someone you're interested in personally. You're extremely independent and highly impulsive. You know that you're a, per that you're a personally strong person and you have little compassion or concern for those who are not. An understanding nature is not your special gift. A shrewd and hard-headed demeanor is more likely to describe your individuality. Your effervescent personality and good sense may keep you from clashing too often with associates and friends, but you're never one to run away from a fight, and when aroused, you're capable of volatile and forceful resentments. You're mentally quick, clever, and highly protective. An accurate, critical mind can handle hard work and long scientific analysis. You are ardent and passionate in your relationships, but you're not an easy person with whom to share a relationship. You are demanding and exacting of others, but not necessarily willing to be imposed upon in return. Though your temperament is rash and forceful, you are admired by others for strong, definite opinions that you never hesitate to put into practice. You are a fighter that attacks problems directly with little concern for tact and diplomacy. Nonetheless, you are the one people will call on when they want to get a difficult job done as you will let little or nothing stand in the way of reaching your goals. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit Angels, can you please provide your truth through wisdom or clarity, January, February, March, or Scorpio Sun, Aries Moons, so you have the Temperance card in the upright. April, May, June, Scorpio Sun, Aries Moons, 2019, please. You have the Ten of Cups in reversed. July, August, September. Scorpio Sun Aries Moons, you have the Devil card in the upright, and then you have two cards for October, November, December. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Tower card. All right, so I see some realization happening at the end of the year here in, in regards to what happened here. So we start at the beginning of the year, we have the card of Sagittarius, for those of you that it resonates. For January, February, October, you guys are trying to restore balance. You're also um, learning how to deal with your very strong emotions you're having. Um, the Temperance card is about um, controlling your temper, moderating your feelings, um, and, and trying to restore calm and find peace, okay? Getting to a good place. Um, you know that he's passing the water from one from one cup to the other and I get that that's a very kind of meditative thing so some of you are actually you know incorporating meditation or something that is calming and peaceful to you maybe going for walks in nature's and think nature and things like that so that you um, you don't let your emotions get the best of you your negative emotions get the best of you and I think that that's what you're trying to um, maintain for the first three months of the year now we get into the Ten of Cups here in reverse. So the Ten of Cups is problems at home, okay? Um, th this can be just somebody that you just, you guys do not get along. Um, you just, your, your values aren't the same. You have different ideals and it's causing a clash. And it usually it is in the home or whatever you consider home. Some people consider work their home. So that could be, you know, a colleague or, or something like that. And as a result, there's discord. And, you know, people are talking about possibly separating or somebody ends up leaving the home or somebody, um, 
you know, a lot of arguments break out. There's a lot of tension. So I feel like whatever's going on here is definitely affecting what you consider home. And it's not really um, a really great environment. Um, some of you might also be feeling neglected. Somebody somebody not isn't giving you the attention that you deserve, um, you know, leaving you at home a lot, um, what have you, okay? Several card is here for July, August, September. This is the card of Capricorn, if that resonates. Now, this is a situation you can't get out of no matter how hard you try. It's a very dark situation. Um, you see no way out. You see no light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this is, it, it can be, um, you know, being addicted to something, be dependent on somebody. Um, it can be tied to somebody that makes you feel powerless. A, a codependent relationship, whatever it is, you just feel like you can't break free from it. There's no way that you can ever kind of get out of it, okay? Now, I see you're having realizations here at the end of the year because we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this is this is kind this is not having a clear way forward. Okay, so you don't have um, you know your your judgment's really clouded. There's chaos. There's confusion going on, and as a result, you don't see a way forward. Or possibly it's this energy spilling into October, November, December, not being able to see a way out. Now. The tower card is here to say in reverse here to say that this is going to come to a head so there will be a way out of this but there's going to be um there is impending disaster there is um destruction lying ahead okay and kind of telling you here um brace yourself for this and also telling you that once this passes you're going to see why this had why this had to happen the way it did and that's what i was talking about realization with this um you know realizing the purpose of why you went went through everything that you went why you were tied to the situation or why you were in their dark um situation why these arguments had to happen why you had to kind of sit on your feelings and not let them get the best of you um and and hold on to your temper or try to control your temper At the end of the year you're gonna i feel like you're gonna get all of those answers with the tower card or reversed okay so click on the link um below to the video it'll take you where you need to go i'll pull clarifiers on this and we'll get um more clarification on what's going on and tighten this reading up a little bit okay so audios from Veronica Garnett. Best of luck to you guys for 2019. Consider a personal reading if you need one. Otherwise, bye.